Hello, welcome to another R Active Mapping tutorial, today with Ikbosh. I'm going to teach you how to animate skins, like this one here I have in um, Counter Strike, or even the one that I have on my wrist. Now, to do so, you're going to require two tools Photoshop, of course, and VTEX. Now, I've set up a special VTEX folder with all the VTFs required, all the VMTs required, should be the VMTs in the description. There'll be a link to it in the description. Now, to get started, we're going to need Photoshop and you're going to need an image you want to put onto it, let's say. So I'm just going to stick with my R Active Mapping one. Copy it. Paste. And we're going to resize it to fit the knife. Now this will require a tiny bit of knowledge with uh, Photoshop itself. So you're just going to rotate it. Now you're going to need to make sure you have the animate, uh, animation window open, which you can do by going into Window and choosing Animation. But as you can see, I already have it open down here. So yeah, Animation, Animation. Here it is, down here. <sighs> um, now, let's say we want it to glow. We'll duplicate the layer, go to blending options, add a glow, choose a nice color, let's go to green. I want it to glow two colors, so we'll duplicate it twice. Okay, let's go with a different color, let's say blue. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so we're going to start it from green. It's going to change from blue to green and back and forth. Now, you've got your texture. You've made sure you have the layers correctly done. Make sure only the uh, the glow you want is visible. You can even untick the just normal layer. And you go down to the animation window. And go duplicate selected frames. Then going to make the current color invisible and make the blue one visible. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go now down back to the animation window and go tweens animation frames. Then let's say we're going to go for 30 frames. We'll go with the first frames. The first amount of frames will be 14 to add. Make sure it's previous frame all the ticks and then all layers. Done. Now you've got 14 frames here and it will already change from green to blue. Let's go back to that one, the last one. Go duplicate selected, uh, duplicate selected frames. Make this one invisible. Make the green one uh, visible again. Tweens. And this time we're going to do 13. So you have a total of 30 which is what I've set up for you basically. But you're all you're welcome to modify them. Now we're gonna now we can just test it. Change this from blue to green. Wonderful. So we'll stop the animation. And you can save the peer Photoshop file as a backup in case. You go file, export, render video. Now to set this up correctly you're going to have to Select your, okay, in the VTEX tool I provided with you, there'll be a folder inside of it called HL2, then Materials RC, and then basically because of modifying the Knife T1, we're going to choose the Knife T folder in Materials RC. Then we're going to make sure it's correctly named, choose Image Sequence, T-A-R-G-A, -A -A, starting with one, three digits. Document size is fine, and everything else is fine. You then go render. You can then exit Photoshop. And 
Now, you can see here, those are all my batch, batch files for you that I sat there and made. Yeah, don't worry about this Photoshop thing, that shouldn't come with it. That was just some of the stuff I was doing. <sighs> then, um, because we modified the NFT, you can see all our wonderful images. There's 30 of them. Now, if you want to increase the frames or lower the amount of frames you have in your image sequence, you're going to modify the text that I've provided. Starting frame is of course 1, but ending frame is the amount that you have total. Now we've got 30 frames, ending frame 30. We'll then go exit, and because we have, because I have these all set up for you already, you can easily modify them by right clicking, go edit, change the folders required, but you shouldn't need to. Then you go double click it, it'll launch, it's now going to turn them into an animated VTF for us. Any key to continue. Now, it's already made. We go into Ikeboshes VTX Pack, HL2 Materials. We go to the Knife T folder. Now, it's there. It's not very big. Some can be a lot bigger. Like I made a 60 frame hand animation that was 35 megabytes. Don't worry, if you want to release them or give them to other people, they will compress to a very small size. Um, one megabyte, let's say. Your VMT now. Your VMT should already be set up correctly for you, but you're welcome to modify it to the accordingly. The only thing you would need to modify though really is the frame rate. This is how fast frames per second it will show at. I'd recommend 30 as it looks best. And the amount of frames in the actual animation. Now I've done it and actually forgotten the amount correctly and stuff. I really haven't had issues with it, but still do it correctly. Now we basically just grab that going to grab these two. And you're going to go to your Counter-Strike folder, which is located in your Steam apps, your username, Counter-Strike, materials, then going to go to models, weapons, V models, then you'll open Knife T and place them there. Then you can go back into game and use them. I think that's about it. I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck. Good luck animating. <laughs> well, what happened? And, well, yeah, in the description there'll be a link to the VTX pack. It wasn't made by, made by me. All the material, the batch codes, all the VTFs and stuff, that was me. But the actual VTX setup was by someone else, as located in the README. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to www.raktivemapping.de. See ya.